Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the big Timber! Come back at you today with another fun and exciting video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new PSA Sabre Forge 11 and a half inch AR pistol or the ARP for what they're calling it in the streets. Ha! But before we talk about all the loaded features that come with this ARP, we want to have a quick word from our sponsors. Oh, hey, it's your favorite tech cool daddy. Yes, the Big Timber Lodge is the sponsor of today's video, meaning all the guns and gear that you see, I paid for myself. Now, we are starting to look for sponsors here at the Big Timber Lodge. <clears throat> and I want to know, would you sponsor me? I'd sponsor me. I'd sponsor me hard. I'd sponsor me so hard. <laughs> I don't know what type of sponsorship that was, but that was horrible. So somebody, please, please start sponsoring the Big Timber Lodge so you never have to see that again. <laughs> all right, but anyways, let's jump right into this AR pistol and all of the features it comes with. So this is a list of everything that you get from factory. I'm gonna just go ahead and post this up on the screen, pause it, that way you can read it yourself. Whoa! Talk about an amazing list of features that come from factory with this ARP. Now you know why I made the purchase for myself. It's got nearly everything that you could want in a pistol. And the craziest part about it, it's less than one stack. So it's not gonna set you back. Woo! Gotta love it when I rhyme. <laughs> I need to make this pistol my own, so let's use a little bit of movie magic. And just like that, with a little bit of movie magic, whew, we are ready to rock and roll. Let's have a close-up look. Jeff's kiss to how badass this thing turned out. I mean, this thing looks badass. I can't wait to shoot it. Now, if you're wondering why I chose the furniture and accessories that I did with this build, well, now's a really good time to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications because I will be explaining to you why I chose what I chose to make the perfect truck and motorcycle saddlebag gun. Yes, you heard me motorcycle saddlebag gun. This pistol will be accompanying me across the country on long rides to make sure that I have enough firepower in case I ever need it. So let's head to the range. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you this important message. A friendly reminder, make sure to work out and improve your battle fighting situation. Slingshot engaged. <laughs> Look at how dark it is out here. What is it? What is it? Is it like pitch black? Oh shit! 
Oh, shit, look how bright that is. Look how bright that is, Kyle. The Big Timber Lodge gives the PSA Sabre Forge 11 and a half inch ARP. The big thumbs up. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna end this review without giving you some pros and cons and explain to you how this ARP changed my life? <laughs> you know me better than that, don't you? All right, but seriously, this is a testament to the Sabre line of PSA. The fact that you can get such high quality accessories and goods for such a budget-friendly, affordable price boggles my mind. It also changed my viewpoint on you always have to spend thousands of dollars in order to get something that's going to be of quality. This is sub 1K and this is very high quality. And for what I need it for to be a truck or motorcycle saddlebag gun, it checks off all the boxes. Now, I would say there's a couple of things to be aware about. Not that they're horrible, but it did need a little bit of a break in period when I first got it. And that might have been due to the fact that I didn't lubricate the BCG or the bolt carrier group enough. And what was happening was when I would release the bolt, when I first got this at the range, wasn't good. it wasn't going fully into battery and it wouldn't fire. Now, on the positive side of that, that's a testament to their safety constraints that this won't fire if the bolt fully isn't in battery. But after taking it apart, cleaning it, lubing it, I had zero issues and I have had zero malfunctions since then. Additionally, this might just be my hand, but I found with my trigger finger for some reason, I, I don't know if maybe it's this ambidextrous safety or not ambidextrous, but you know, dual sided safety. I was getting a little bit of rub in this part of my knuckle. So it's not horrible. I don't have a blister, but just be aware that I did have that happen to me. And I'll be looking to see if it happens in the future. Maybe it was just the way that I was gripping. But as far as the quality goes with this, it is top notch. You aren't going to beat the quality of the accessories and the furniture that come from factory for the price point. It is the king of the budget-friendly ARPs. You can't change my mind right now. Seriously, it is the king. And I am really looking forward to actually putting on a different optic, testing out the accuracy, which I have to say, yesterday when I was shooting this at 36 yards to get a zero, even with the red dot, I was shooting groups that were about this big at 36 yards with zero magnification, which is not only a testament to the accuracy of this pistol, but also to my ability as a shooter. <laughs> um, and that was just with some 62 grain steel core. So that'll be a fun video to make to see how well I can shoot this with certain loads and see how tight of groups I can actually get out of an 11 and a half inch barrel. Additionally, I want to make more videos about the accessories that you see on here, why I chose the Streamlight, you know, flashlight, as well as the Schaefer pressure pad mounting device, and also why I swapped out the Sabre compensator for the SLR linear comp. All of those are going to be in future videos. So I hope you guys by this point have subscribed and turned on all notifications so you can stay up to date with my journey with this ARP build. And until next time, peace.